Hey guys, Psycho Revolution here, and welcome to episode DOS of my Gmod Machinima Guide. If you didn't know, DOS is 2 in Spanish. Here's a question for you Europeans. Do you know any Spanish over there? Is it very common or not? I mean, I know you got Spain over there, but... I mean, if you're in Sweden or England, do you have the ability to count to 10 in Spanish? I'm just curious. It has nothing to do with Gmod, I just want to know. Okay, back on subject. On this episode, I'm going to teach you about programs. Which ones I use, how much they are, what I think you should use, and their uses, I guess. Yeah, that sounds good. So, without further ado, let's go. For editing right now, I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 9, I believe. Yes, 9. I believe there's 10 is available, and then I think as I'm recording this, they're releasing 11. And there's not a whole lot of difference between them. Now... Vegas Pro is really expensive, so that might not be an option for you, at least legally. But, they do have Vegas Movie Studio HD, which is retail for $44.95 US. And that would be a good option for video editing. I strongly, strongly say do not use Windows Movie Maker. Do not. It's horrible. It gives you no flexibility, at least when I used it. Maybe it's better, but I doubt it. If you're serious about making Gmod Machinima, you best not be using Windows Movie Maker. So, legally speaking, you can get Vegas Movie Studio HD for 45 bucks, roughly. Or there's this program called Lightworks, and this is a professional, professional video editing program that I believe is open source, I think. But either way, it's free. It's actually the program that was used to edit the King's Speech. And this is, the interface is a lot different from your traditional editing program. But it's free. And there's tutorials out there. And I mean, it, it obviously works if they made a movie with it. So you might want to check that out too. Of course, there's other programs that cost money other than Sony Vegas. But I'm just going to keep, to my knowledge, and not talk about things I don't know about. So you can go out there and look, but from my experience, I love Sony Vegas. So I suggest that. So that's what I use to edit. Now for if I need to record something, which I know it doesn't happen a lot in Gmod, but like right now I'm recording something, and I'm using Audacity, which is open source and free. So you might want to check that out. There's no reason to, I don't know why anyone would pay for a recording software when you can just use Audacity. Unless you're like a producer or something, I don't know. Okay, Vegas, Audacity. Oh yeah, of course, Fraps. Now Fraps is like the obvious choice when people talk, but I found this program called Bandicam. I don't know if you know about it, but I got it recently and I use it to record gameplay. And it's roughly the same as Fraps. I think it's $10 more, I'm not sure. I think Fraps is 30, this might be 40. Not for sure on that. But, Bandicam gives you more flexibility, lets you change more options, you can compress video as you record or not. With Fraps, I think you don't have the choice, it has to be uncompressed and you get huge files. The only advantage I really see with Fraps is that you can, you can capture stills in Targa format, but that's not much of an advantage. If you're really OCD, you could use Targa, but those files are large. And from my experience, I use PNG files, and I can't tell the difference on screen between the two. So I go with the smaller file, of PNG, that looks great, as opposed to Targa, which is huge. Bandicam doesn't do Targa, but you don't really need that. So, if you got the extra $10, whatever, I would go with Bandicam, because it gives you flexibility in the future if you want to record gameplay or what not. Then I also use Adobe Fireworks and Photoshop. I don't use Photoshop a lot though because I'm way more comfortable with Fireworks and actually the graphics you're seeing like the intro graphic and everything that was made in Fireworks. For Photoshop I really rarely use that. I use it if I need to reskin something because it can edit target files but there's also free software that does that. So you don't really need Photoshop or fireworks, but if you got it, that's awesome. 
Oh, and I almost forgot back to video editing. I also use Adobe After Effects. After Effects. If that's a better pronunciation. I really only use that to mess around. I do some animation. It's a motion graphics program more than... It's not like a full-out editing program. It's motion graphics. I use that for certain shots. For all my camera shakes, I always use it. That's not necessary. If you got the program, great. Again, you don't need it. But if you're out there right now and you're like, Wait, Psycho, I don't have money. Well, guess what? You don't need it. If you really have no money, you can still make Gmon Machinima. I think you can get a Fraps unregistered program, and it'll have the watermark on top, but you can just crop that out with your free Lightworks editing program, okay? Or if you don't even want Fraps, you can use the camera that comes in Gmon, but I don't really like that, so I'm not going to advise it. But if you have no money and no screen capping program, you're going to be using the in-game camera. So when it comes down to it, the only money you have to spend is on Gmod. And I swear to God, if you play with Gmod, I will come to your house. And I will strangle you. So, thanks for watching episode two. Stay tuned for episode three. Stay sexy.